Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, we are here at San Francisco at uh, ASCO GU 2019. Uh, and it was just presented by uh, Dr. Inácio Duran that I, I'm, I have a pleasure to, to be with him. Uh, he's a medical oncologist at uh, Servicio de Oncologia Médica, Hospital Universitario Marquês de Valdecilla, Santander, Espanha. He's an uh, investigator, one of the investigators of the Meteor trial, just to contextualize. Uh, it was a second line phase three, three trial uh, on advanced RCC that the, resu the, the results have been already presented by Tony Schreiri in 2016. And today at ASCO GU, uh, Dr. Inácio Duran uh, presented us uh, some results, uh, some signals of the meteor trial, analyzing the early tumor, tumor shrinkage and trying to correlate with overall survival. So thank you, uh, Dr. Inácio, to be with us. And uh, I'd like to, to ask to you, what is the relevance of accessing the early tumor shrink shrinkage mm -hmm. and correlate it with uh, mm -hmm. a s overall s survival? Oh, thank you, Dr. Vinicius. Um, well, I think it's, I think it's important. Um, what, what we did, we'll look at the population of the meteor study, the meteor that you very well introduced, and, and we wondered how relevant was the response that we could see at the first assessment after initiation therapy, what we denominated early tumor shrinkage. And what we saw in our studies, those patients who had either any degree of tumor shrinkage or greater than 30%, they really had a much longer survival compared with Everolimus. So if you ask me, how do I translate that into my clinic? I think that is going to give you a good prognostic information. It's, it's going to help you to somehow estimate what is going to be most likely the outcome of your patient that you're treating with cabozantinib. So I don't think it's an information that can be taken as fully decision making, but it's an information that is going to support, you know, your, uh, let's say your treatment decision in the clinic. So I think that is relevant. In the other side, we saw that patients who do not benefit, patients who do not have any early tumor shrinkage, those patients did not do better than Everolimus. So again, it's a prognostic information. When we have a patient in our clinic, we have a story cabozantinib, and eight, week, like eight weeks later comes to the clinic with a CT scan and there is no benefit. We can anticipate that most likely that patient won't have a very good performance. Uh, there's another question that I don't know it w if, if it was addressed in this uh, trial, but we know that uh, cabozantinib is a very good drug to, to the bone, and in, mm -hmm. uh, in many oncologists like to use uh, cabozantinib when the patient has predominantly uh, bony metastasis, mm -hmm. for example, and it's difficult to evaluate response or shrinkage in bone metastasis. How do you evaluate bony only metastasis to early shrinkage? Well, that, that's a great question. And unfortunately, we did not incorporate that SAP analysis in our study. So in order to be included in the METRO study, you had to have measurable disease. So bony mats, unless they have soft tissue lesions around, is not measurable disease. So all the patients that were included had some metastatic lesion that we could measure regardless of the bone disease. So bone disease was included as a non-target lesion and incorporated into the resist criteria evaluation. But it's a great question, and probably as a sub-analysis we should consider. Uh, and finally, uh, do, do you think there is room for uh, running a meta-analysis with other trials of TKIs to, to look for early tumor shrinkage to see if other drugs also correlates through motion crazy with this uh, overall survival well, endpoint? There is data already generated. So there is basically one group, Victor Grunwell, is the investigator who has performed the largest analysis about early tumor shrinkage. And he did it with, I would say, thousands of patients. So he included patients 
no cabozantinib patient, let's say it's an old study that included mostly sunitinib, pazopinib, sorafenib. So he included a number of a big number of patients treated with tyrosine kinase inhibitors, and, and he already demonstrated that the 10% early tumor shrinkage could be somehow a predictor of, of benefit. So that has been done, and actually not so long ago he published a similar analysis within the COMPARS study, and he also demonstrated that. So I, I don't know if our information now could be added to that you know, series of Victor Grunwell and create a large body of evidence through a meta-analysis. Yeah. So uh, I think I'm uh, satisfied. Uh, I would like to thank you very much for your time. And I hope to to you to see you soon in, in the upcoming events. And uh, if we if we have a pleasure to 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 have you in Brazil, it's going to be fantastic. Thank you so much. Muito obrigado.